Okay, everybody ready? <clears throat> and so now just uh, reconnect with your posture and just see if you can sit in such a way that you're as straight as you can be without becoming rigid. And if at some point during the retreat your back becomes very painful, it's okay to meditate lying down as long as you don't fall asleep which is also true of sitting. So just bring a sense of a strong, stable back and a soft, receptive front. And first start with a personal specific motivation that checks in with what were my first reasons for coming to a retreat like this? Was it curiosity? Was it something specific? And then think, whatever my initial motivation was, may I expand it to be more than today, more than myself. I don't need to find all of the answers, but maybe I can make my questions clearer. And visualize in the space in front of you the objects of refuge one into many, or many into one. And have the strong sense that the enlightened mind is present. and refuge in bodhicitta in English. I take refuge until I'm enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merits of generosity and so forth, may I become a Buddha to benefit transmigratory beings. I take refuge until I am enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merits of generosity and so forth, may I become a Buddha to benefit transmigratory beings. I take refuge until I'm enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merits of generosity and so forth, may I become a Buddha to benefit transmigratory beings. I take refuge until I'm enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merits of generosity and so forth, may I become a Buddha to benefit transmigratory beings. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were to abide in equanimity, free from the closeness of attachment and the distance of hatred. May they abide in equanimity. I myself will cause them to abide in equanimity. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. And meditate on Tonglen taking on all the disturbing emotions of sentient beings, 
giving them to your self-cherishing thought, destroying it. Continuing, how wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were to achieve Buddhahood. May they achieve Buddhahood. I myself will cause them to achieve Buddhahood. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. And meditate on Tonglen, transforming your body into a wish-granting jewel that gives every sentient being every kind of temporary and ultimate happiness that they desire and need. Continuing, how wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they be free from suffering and its causes. I myself will cause them to be free from suffering and its causes. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. Taking all the suffering and causes of suffering of all sentient beings. Continuing, how wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were never separated from the happiness of higher rebirth and liberation. May they never be separated from these. I myself will cause them never to be separated from these. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. And imagine giving all your past, present, and future merits and the results, including enlightenment, to all sentient beings. and purifying the place. Everywhere may the ground be pure, free of pebbles and so forth, as level as the palm of the hand and in the nature of sapphire and soft. From the heart of the savior of the hundred deities of Tashita, on the peak of a cloud resembling a clump of extremely white fresh curd, king of Dharma, omniscient Losong Drapa, please come here together with your sons. In the sky before me, on a lion throne, lotus and moon, my perfect pure guru smiles with delight. Supreme field of merit for my mind of faith, please abide for hundreds of eons to spread the teachings. Your holy mind has the intelligence that understands the full extent of objects to be known. Your holy speech with its excellent explanations is the ear ornament for those of good fortune. Your holy body is radiantly beautiful with glory renowned. To you who are meaningful to see, hear, and remember, I prostrate. 
pleasing drinking water, various flowers, fragrant incense, lights, scented waters, and so forth. Oceans of cloud-like offerings, both actually arranged and mentally emanated, I offer to you the supreme field of merit. And so visualize the beautiful offerings here, the water and flowers, etc. As well as on all the altars you've ever seen and can imagine. And mentally multiply the offerings. Pure, clean water for drinking and bathing. Fields of flowers. Fragrant incense. the light of candles, of electric lights, even chandeliers or fireworks. Offering perfumes or essential oils. And a feast of food, sweet and savory. Everything that you love visualized and offered. And imagine music, the type that you, that you really connect with, that makes your mind happy. and offer it. And continuing. Whatever non-virtue of body, speech, and mind, especially those opposite to the three vows that I have collected from beginningless time, I confess each and every one with fervent regard for my, regret from my heart. You strove to match learning and practice in this degenerate age and made your freedoms and richnesses meaningful by abandoning the eight worldly concerns. Savior, we sincerely rejoice in your extensive deeds. Perfect, pure, holy gurus from the billowing clouds of wisdom and compassion in the sky of Dharmakaya, please let fall a rain of profound and extensive Dharma upon the receptacle of those to be subdued exactly as they need. May whatever virtue I have collected benefit the teachings in all transmigratory beings, and in particular, may it cause the essence of perfect, pure Lozang Drapa's teachings to shine forever. This ground anointed with perfume strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun, and the moon. I imagine this is a Buddha land and offer it. May all transmigratory beings enjoy this pure land. May we meet the teachings of the victorious one, Lozang Drapa, who had the morality of an eminently pure way of life, was courageous in the extensive conduct of the sons of the victorious ones, and accomplished the yoga of the two stages of supreme bliss and emptiness. Yadam Guru Radnamandala Kamni Atayami. And visualize now in the space in front of you, Lama Tsongkhapa, facing you 
his two spiritual sons below him. And think that this figure that you visualize is one in nature of all gurus, your own root guru, and is in essence Manjushri, Avalokiteshvara, and Vajrapani, enlightened wisdom, compassion, and power. And just stabilize the visualization as best as you can. By the force of having fervently requested in this way, hollow beams of white light are emitted from the hearts of the perfect pure father and sons, and combining into one enter my crown. White nectar, the color of milk, flows from the opening of the tube of white light, cleansing all my sicknesses, spirit harms, negative karmas, obscurations, and their imprints without exception. My body becomes as pure and clear as crystal. And try to hold that visualization. And we'll do the li nine line Migdsema in English once. Vajradhara, Lord of Sages, source of all realizations. Avalokiteshvara, great treasure of non-objectifying compassion. Manjushri, master of stainless wisdom. Lord of secrets, destroyer of the entire host of Maras. Lozangdrapa, crown ornament of the sages of the land of snow. To you, Guru Buddha, embodying the three refuges, I make res requests respectfully with my three doors. Please bless me and others to be ripened and liberated. Please bestow the supreme and common realizations. Please bless me to quickly become like you. And over the page. So we do the five line Migdsema, just straight chanting. We'll do seven together and then continue silently to ourselves just under the breath, trying to hold the visualization of purification. <coughs> <laughs> Dupo malu jam ze sang wei dung. Gan chen ke pe tsu gyan song ka pa. Lo zan dra pe sha pla so wa deb. Mi me tse wei te chen chen rezi. Dream he kem pe wam po jam bel yang. Dupo malu jam ze sang wei dung. Gan chen ke pe tsu gyan song ka Lo zandra pe sha pla so adem. Mi me tse we te chen chen rezi. Dream he kem pe wam po jam bel yang. Du po malu jam ze sang we dang. Gan chen ke pe tsu gyan zong ka pa. Lo zandra pe sha pla so adem. Mi me se we te chen chen rezi, dream he kem pe wam po jam bel yang, du po malu jam ze sang we dang, gan chen ke pe tsu gyan song ka pa, lo zang dra pe sha pla so wa de. Mi me se we te chen chen rezi, dream he kem pe wam po jam bel yang, du po malu jam ze sang we dang, gan chen ke 
pecto gentum capa, los andra pecha plazo ade, mi me te waited in genresi, a dream a gempe wampo jumbel young, tu po malu jumps a zung way dung, gantin ke pecto gentum capa, los andra pecha plazo ade, mi me te waited in genresi, dream a gempe wampo jumbel young, tu po malu jumps a zung way dung, gantin ke pecto gentum
In the seven wisdoms, please bless me to achieve the great wisdom that is unimpeded in discerning the meanings of the infinite scriptures. Once again, great wisdom flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body. From the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of perfect pure Manjushri, light radiates. The great wisdom of the victorious ones of the ten directions and their sons absorb into me in the form of bodies of the deity filling my body. And so shift the visualization to a visualization of orange nectar carrying with it countless tiny Manjushri Buddhas bringing great wisdom. And if you can hold this visualization together with the mantra, then do so. You may say which in share say it. Clear wisdom. Please bless me to achieve the clear wisdom that is not confused about subtle and detailed difficult points. Once again, clear wisdom flows forth in the form of orange nectar, filling my body from the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of Omra Rapatsana D light radiates. The clear wisdom of the victorious ones of the ten directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the mantras filling my body. <laughs> Quick wisdom. Please bless me to achieve the quick wisdom that quickly cuts through non-understanding, misunderstanding, and doubt. Once again, quick wisdom flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body. From the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of orange D syllables, light radiates. The quick wisdom of the victorious ones of the ten directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the seed syllables filling my body. Profound wisdom. Please bless me to achieve the profound wisdom that is unfathomable in discerning the meanings of the scriptures. Once again, profound wisdom flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body. From the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of texts and swords, light radiates. The profound wisdom of the victorious ones of the ten directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the hand implements filling my body.
wisdom of explaining. Please bless me to achieve the wisdom of explaining that gives supreme ascertainment regarding all the meanings of words. Once again, the wisdom of explaining flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body. From the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of text to be explained, light radiates. The wisdom of explaining of the victorious ones of the ten directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of texts filling my body. Wisdom of debating. Please bless me to achieve the wisdom of debating that thoroughly deprives evil propaganda of, this, of their self-confidence. Once again, wisdom of debating flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body. From the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of wheels of swords, light radiates. The wisdom of debating of the victorious ones of the ten directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the wheels filling my body. Wisdom of composing. Please bless me to achieve the wisdom of composing that gives rise to a joyous, clear understanding of the excellent, actually signified meaning. Once again, the wisdom of composing flows forth in the form of orange nectar filling my body. From the atoms of the nectar clarified in the form of text and wheels, light radiates. The wisdom of composing of the victorious ones of the ten directions and their sons absorbs into me in the form of the texts and wheels filling my body. And the request. May my wisdoms of listening, reflecting, and meditating increase. May my wisdoms of explaining, debating, and composing develop. May I be granted the supreme and common realizations. Please bless me to quickly become like you. May the tran my transcendental wisdom of simultaneously born great bliss arise. May my stains of mistakenly grasping things as real be purified. May my net of doubts that are only mind be cut off. Please bless me to quickly become like you.
May my wisdoms of listening, reflecting, and meditating increase. May my wisdoms of explaining, debating, and composing develop. May I be granted the supreme and common realizations. Please bless me to quickly become like you. May my transcendental wisdom of simultaneously born great bliss arise. May my stains of mistakenly grasping things as real be purified. May my net of doubts that are only mind be cut off. Please bless me to quickly become like you. May my wisdoms of listening, reflecting, and meditating increase. May my wisdoms of explaining, debating, and composing develop. May I be granted the supreme and common realizations. Please bless me to quickly become like you. May my transcendental wisdom of simultaneously born great bliss arise. May my stains of mistakenly grasping things as real be purified. May my net of doubts that are only mind be cut off. Please bless me to quickly become like you. <clears throat> and now turn to page 22. Bottom of the page, request to abide at the heart. Magnificent and precious Root Guru, please abide on the lotus seat at my heart. Guide me with your great kindness and grant me the realizations of your holy body, speech, and mind. Magnificent and precious Root Guru, please abide on the lotus seat at my heart. Guide me with your great kindness and grant me the supreme and common realizations. Magnificent and precious Root Guru, please abide on the lotus seat at my heart. Guide me with your great kindness and remain steadfast until I attain the essence of enlightenment. and dedications. By the force of the victorious one, Tsongkhapa, acting as our direct Mahayana virtuous friend in all our lives, may we never turn away for even a second from the pure path highly admired by the victorious ones. May we be able to live a life of pure morality, listening to Misani teachings, train in bodhicitta, and have pure view and conduct, without corrupting or polluting the teachings of Losang Drapa, the second victorious one. Glorious Guru, whatever your body, retinue, life span and realm, whatever your supreme and excellent name, may I and others become exactly like that. By the force of the praises and requests made to you, may all diseases, evil spirits, poverty and quarrels be calmed, and may the Dharma and good fortune increase in the regions in which I and others dwell. Please bless us that the lives of the glorious Gurus be long, that all beings equaling the extent of space be happy, that I and others, without exception, collect merits and purify obscurations, and that we quickly achieve Buddhahood. May I not give rise to heresy for even a second in regard to the actions of the glorious Guru. May I see whatever actions are done as pure. With this devotion, may I receive the Guru's blessings in my heart. For the Dharma King Tsongkhapa's way of Dharma to flourish, may all signs of obstacles be pacified and all conducive conditions be complete. Due to the two types of merit of the three times of myself and others, may the teachings of the victorious one Losang Drapa shine resplendent forever. Garia rawe koe jing kam dear pendong de wa malu jung we ne chen rezi wan ten zing get soi he sha pe si te badu ten guachi tu absu chan ching chan kung gal we ten zing kum and the top of the page due to the three time merits collected by myself, the numberless Buddhas, and the numberless sentient beings. 
May I, my family members, all those who rely upon me, all those for whom I have promised to pray, all those whose names have been given to me, all the students, benefactors, and volunteers in the FPMT organization, and all sentient beings be able to meet perfectly qualified Mahayana virtuous friends in all our future lives. From our side, may we always see them as enlightened. May we always do only actions most pleasing to their holy minds, and may we always fulfill their holy wishes in Instantly. And remembering the emptiness of the three spheres, the agent, the action, the object, all completely lack inherent existence because they dependently arise. Okay, so you can relax your attention. And we'll have a half hour break and then come back and do the session in uh, Tibetan. <laughs> 